Hey gang, Matt the Helpful Home Inspector here. Today we're bringing you an episode all about fireworks safety. Happy 4th of July folks, we're here today to make this a little bit safer for everybody, all right? Now when it comes to today's video, this one is going to be shot in 360 degrees. So basically if you would like to, you can take your phone, you can move it all over the place and see the different parts of the yard, different parts of the house, different parts of the fireworks displays and stuff like that. Um, but if you want to, you can also put it into a VR headset and when you put the VR headset on, then you can look around and basically it'll be like you're standing where the camera is. Kind of cool stuff. Also, at the end of the show here today, we're going to have a little fireworks display. You can move your phone up and you'll be able to see the fireworks display and stuff. Um, really cool. And we're going to hope to do more of these cool videos like this so you can kind of see and, and uh, see what's going on in the area around where we're shooting our videos and stuff. Before you do any of that, please hit the subscribe button down below there. It doesn't cost you anything. It is uh, not going to result in any spam emails or spam phone calls. Um, it does help us a lot to keep providing the good content to you guys. Um, and as far as the uh, notifications go, you will not be given any notifications just by hitting the subscribe. If you want notifications, hit the bell notification. It will send off a little ting or a bell um, when you're on your computer and we drop new content, all right? Um, if you like the video at the end, give me a thumbs up, all right? So let's get into this firework safety stuff, woo-hoo! Now, um, as far as firework safety goes here today, you guys, um, number one, make sure that everybody is safe. We don't want anybody to get injured during these fireworks shows. You may have heard all the horror stories about people blowing their hands off or getting severely injured. Um, one of my childhood friends got a button, two of his fingers blown off by a firework. So we want to make sure that everybody is very, very safe. And being safe doesn't cost a lot of money and it doesn't take a lot of extra time. So um, let's look into how we can make this a little bit safer for everybody involved. Now today we are going to be giving away a free pair of VR goggles, okay? And the way that you can win those VR goggles is there's going to be a question that I'm going to provide in the middle of the video and the answer will be provided in the middle of the video as well. Now if you are the first person to put the correct answer in the comments, I will hook up with you and we'll get you sent out a free pair of VR goggles so that when we drop our 360 degree content, you can be in the middle of it, all right? When it comes to fireworks, yes, the explosive fireworks, the bright lights and all that kind of stuff is what we all have known and have come to love for a long time, okay? But there are a lot of um, non-explosive, non-fire related options out there that will allow you to still have a good time, that can still allow the kids to have a great time neon glow light sticks they make these little launchers that you can turn on the lights and you launch it up into the air and it gives the light show as it comes down you can even buy little poppers like this where you pull the string and the streamers go flying kind of cool stuff out there lots of options that don't require explosive devices and stuff all right um now as far as the fireworks go you want to make sure that you and everyone there is prepared to have fireworks go off if nobody's into the fire if somebody's not into the fireworks you want to make sure to let them know well in advance so that they can prepare themselves or to leave the area if they choose. Now, when it comes to fireworks safety, you know, one of the things that we always want to make sure of is you want to make sure that you're being careful, especially around small children. Small children are excited about fireworks. They like to see the colors and the, the loud noises and the bangs and the sparks and all that kind of stuff. We got to be very conscientious because lots of times they don't understand the danger or the hazard that goes along with these. So make sure to keep all children far away from the fireworks, okay? If you're gonna do sparklers with the little ones, that's great. These sparklers work great. Um, they come in all kinds of different kinds and colors and all kinds of stuff. Um, but make sure that the kids stay at least six feet away. These sparks can shoot off quite a ways, okay? And you always wanna make sure the child holds this away from their body, okay? And when they're done, make sure you have a bucket of water, something you can dump those sparklers into um, so that they will uh, be basically extinguished and also make those rods nice and cool. If you have the metal sparklers, those little metal rods can stay hot for a really, really long time. So have a place, a safe place for the kids to put them. And having a nice bright orange bucket is really the way to go because that will um, help them be able to see where to put them and stuff, all right? Now, if you're gonna light the fireworks by hand, take a couple of precautions. Number one, make sure you have like some sort of an extended lighter. At uh, a lot of the hardware stores, they'll sell fireplace lighters that are the click, 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 but they're longer and get you a little bit further away from that um, firework, okay? Now, you also want to make sure that you're never leaning over the firework. Is that firework going to launch? It's going to launch right at your face. Awful idea. Okay, make sure you're launching off into the side. Also, remember, using those uh, extra wick extensions and securing them with clips or something like that would work best. Um, and then you can be a little bit further away to light that wick off, okay? Now, also, with your um, lighting them by hand, make sure you still have that hose and bucket handy just in case something does go awry. Now, let's get into the fireworks. Now, Fireworks come in diff all different shapes and sizes. You can get little tiny ones, even tinier ones, okay? And you can get bigger ones that are gonna do larger, have more shows and go higher and be brighter and all that kind of stuff. Make sure you know what you're purchasing, okay? Make sure that it is legal and allowed in your municipality, okay? 
If you need to acquire a permit, get a permit. The most of the dealerships that are in your area are gonna sell permits for your area, and you wanna make sure that you have that permit purchased. Usually they're three to five bucks, something like that. Not very expensive, but definitely something you wanna make sure to get. Now, most of the places are also going to have a pamphlet about firework safety, and you can read through this and kind of gives you some good tips and tricks on how to maintain and take care of uh, the fireworks, how to you know make sure that they're gonna be safe and, and how to light them off safely, all right? Now, basically, when it comes to fireworks, there's two ways to light them off. One, you can light them by hand, okay, which is gonna involve a fuse, and it's gonna involve a lighter of some kind, some sort of uh, uh, ignition device, okay? Now, the other way to go is a mechanical um, uh, radio-controlled device, and basically, the radio-controlled device is gonna look somewhat like this. There's other ones out there, um, but this is the one that I purchased. This is available on Amazon. We will have this linked in our uh, description below that if you would like to go and purchase this, you may. Now with these types of devices, you can have your firework 100 feet away from you. Push a button and launch the firework. So little kids can launch fireworks here safely, okay? Instead of sending them up to a explosive device with a lighter, it just doesn't sound like a bright idea, right? So these devices, um, not very expensive, but can make your um, operation a lot safer. Now these types of devices do, do require other types of uh, hardware. One is gonna be a receiver. So this device is basically going to have the wire going into it. And then this is the part that ignites the firework at the end here. And you gotta buy these little um, uh, ignition wires as well, okay? Now, when it comes to these ignition wires, the easy way to hook these up, okay, is you're going to lift up the top. You're gonna to put your wick of your device down into the red barrel there. And you're gonna pull this back down into the tube. And it basically makes a nice little pressure fit this black part here is what's going to ignite the firework on fire and get it to launch or ignite in this case, all right? Um, you then would pull, and that'll, that'll hold the firework in there. Then you're gonna pull the uh, plastic off the ends here, which will expose the two little wires. Now, for our purposes, uh, the device that we have folding these wires over helps a lot. So I'm gonna fold them over. I'm gonna insert them into the ignition device. Now, the ignition device has one, two, three, and four slots where you can hook up four different fireworks, okay? Or have four different ignitions. So I'm gonna put that in there, this in here, and it doesn't matter which side you put it in. It's basically just completing, when you push the button on the uh, control device here, it's gonna complete that circuit and send electricity through these wires, igniting the end on this, okay? Um, just like if you were to launch like a model rocket or something like that, okay? Now, in order for this to launch, okay, um, we need to have the uh, control device turned on. Okay, so you can see the, the lights are on there. We're seeing that we have continuity and good on this device over here. All right, and then you're going to take it over to a safe place. Now, I've previewed this uh, um, small firework and it's basically just going to do a small report. Nothing that's loud at all, nothing that's super loud. You're gonna turn the device on so I can see that I've turned the power on to the device. And I know that I am plugged into number one slot over there. So by pushing number one, that's our firework, okay? Pretty simple, pretty easy operation. And you can be a safe distance away, not having to worry about how fast you can run or how far you can throw, which both are not very good ideas, okay? So that's how that device works. Now, when you're going to look at your fireworks, how do you know if the firework is gonna be safe for your area, okay? One of the things is that most of the fireworks are gonna come with a QR code of sorts, okay? This QR code, you can scan it with your cell phone, okay? Just hold your, turn on your camera on your phone, hold it up there and push the screen, and that will show you a video of exactly what this firework is going to do, okay? So for this one, we know that it's gonna shoot out little sparks and stuff like that. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna set it up just like we did the last one. I pull out one of the ignition wires. I pull back the um, housing on the ignition wire, put that down in there. I pull the ignition portion, the part that's gonna light on fire, back and it wedges up against the thing. And you can see it actually holds quite well on there, okay? Um, then I'm gonna go over to the um, stand. Before I do that though, I wanna make sure to turn that off so that nobody can accidentally push the buttons while I'm over there. So the control device is turned off. I'm also gonna turn the switcher off over here. So the switcher has a button on it as well. Turn that off. I'm gonna get the used one out.
bend the two wires over and insert them into the remote launcher. Turn the remote launching device on. And now that remote launcher, I'm in spot two this time. So on the, on the launcher here, the controller, I'm gonna turn the power on. And when I push number two, it will launch that. Now, if I had a whole sequence of these set up and I wanted to have say a grand finale where all these get lit off at the same time, there is a fire all, or there is also a rapid fire, okay? Tonight, when we're doing the uh, kind of a, the fireworks show, there's gonna be a rapid fire and it's gonna fire one, then the other, then the other, then the other, and they're all gonna go off and make a bunch of cool light show for us, all right? So um, with this one, we're gonna push number two. And if you want, you can scroll and on your phone, okay? When you go on your phone or you're just watching on your phone maybe, all you need to do is move your phone to the left and you'll be able to see the fireworks that are over there, okay? If you wanna see up, you can move it up. See down, you can move it down um, and you'll be able to see that. You can also, if you don't wanna move your phone, you can take your finger on your screen and swipe it around and see the whole area as to what's going on here at the house, all right? So we're gonna push firework number two. Launching in three, two, one. You can see that's ignit and then it's gonna have the spark going off over there. Now this is just a small fountain, nothing that's gonna fire far away or anything, so we don't have to be too, be too terribly far away. On small fountains and uh, things like that, being at least 15 to 20 feet away is a good idea. This one's got some loud poppers. Um, but 15 to 20 feet away on these small fountains like that is uh, the minimum safe distance. On larger fireworks, like we're talking about these guys, being 30 feet away is a really good idea. And if you get into some of those large tube launchers, being at least 50 feet away is really the best way to go. And some of those have real explosive power. Well, like when they get up way in the sky and they're this huge bloom, that's actually a huge explosive device that's being launched up, you know, 150 feet in the air and being set off. So um, having a, uh, uh, a system set up where you don't have to be that close to light or ignite that is a really good idea. These systems, very affordable and easy to use. And you can see, it doesn't take long to hook up. It's not like it's gonna take forever that it's too, too, it's too long then compared to running out there with a lighter and stuff. It doesn't take long to be safe, okay? So we're gonna turn this back off here. Now, if you're going to use fuses, okay, maybe you don't have a launching device. Putting on extra fuse is always a good idea. This is extra fuse, they sell for a couple of bucks right where they sell the fireworks and stuff. And when you have one fuse and you wanna link it up to the next fuse, all they need to do is be touching. So I use these little um, clips that you would have in like your desk or whatever, and you're gonna put these together. You're gonna put the clip on, and you can see that they're both touching there, so they're gonna ignite. You always wanna have a little bit of overlap on there, okay? And then when you light one side, it's gonna light the other side, so you're gonna be farther away. In some cases, like this package that we bought here, um, I think it was, it was like 30 or 40 feet of, of extra fuse, which is really for a couple of bucks, very cheap and makes it a lot safer if you're gonna be lighting by hand, all right? Now, a couple of tips as far as lighting them by hand. Um, let me just go through, make sure I don't skip anything here, all right? Um, so we already talked about, make sure your fireworks are legal, scan the UPC, make sure you're using a reputable gear and get that permit. Store your fireworks always in a cool, dry location um, and uh, away from children, okay? So they should be uh, stored away. You wanna make sure that they stay dry. If they get wet, your launching um, is gonna be uh, probably unsatisfactory because only about half of them will probably launch off. Um, make sure you always have a hose ready to go, which we're gonna go when we go down to the grass. We'll talk a little bit more about that. Have a bucket nearby. Make sure that your observers are gonna be far enough away from the area. Now, if you're gonna use a launching device, okay, as you're setting up your board and you're hooking up all the wires, make sure the power is off to not only the remote receiving device, but also the remote control launching device, okay? Make sure the power is off, probably even just close the lid so that nobody can accidentally push buttons while you're over here working on things, okay? You wanna make sure that you hook your uh, fireworks up first and put the wires in last, okay? And then right before you're ready to launch, you're gonna turn the power on to the, uh, the remote device, okay? Then you're gonna go to a, your safe location where you have your launch controller, okay? You're gonna put up your antenna, you're gonna turn your power on, and then you're ready to go, all right? Um, but you gotta make sure you do that safely and in that order, all right? Now, um, as far as these remote launch devices go, um, they are safe for children to use and things like that to still push the button so that they can launch a firework, um, but make sure that everybody's doing so from a safe distance. One of the questions that we do have to ask is, uh, where did Matt buy the fireworks for today's 
demonstration. If you have any fireworks that appear to be damaged in any way, shape, or form, you should not fire or launch them off. The odds go up as far as having a, an accident when you have fireworks that are damaged or are, might malfunction. All right, so make sure that the fireworks are in good shape. One of the things that I also do with all my fireworks when I buy a larger cake like that is I cut off the top paper. So they put paper on the top expecting the uh, firework to blast through it. And sometimes it doesn't blast through all the way and it causes deflections and we don't want deflections when it comes to fireworks, okay? And on my boards, when I set up a board for launch, I'm putting some screws and a little bit of tape to hold that firework in there so it can't shift or move around at all, all right? So just a little thing that I do to make sure that the firework's not gonna tip over and launch in a direction that I don't want it to launch. Okay? All right, so when you're getting, right before you're ready to launch, do a final safety check. Make sure you got water at hand, make sure your observers are far enough away, know where all the children are, have a hose ready to go, okay? Um, and when you're ready to launch, right before you're ready to launch, let everybody know, be loud about it. Hey, I'm launching fireworks in 10 minutes, you know, so they can all get prepared. Um, you wanna make sure to put any pets or animals away that are gonna be caught off guard by the loud noises and things. Lots of these fireworks can be very loud and the dogs and things like that, they have very sensitive hearing. So putting them in a room where they're not gonna be exposed to that loud sound would be a really good idea and be really thoughtful. Hey gang, Matt here. We're down by where we're gonna have our fireworks launch. We're getting this set up before it gets dark outside so we make sure we have what we need. We've got our hose down here. We've got a bucket ready to go. Um, over here at the fireworks stand, we've got, or the firework boards, <laughs> we've got um, the fireworks all set up. Uh, we basically are gonna be launching eight cakes tonight. These are small cakes. They're uh, gonna put on a little a good show, but they're not gonna launch too far. I'm being conscientious of my neighbors and my municipality. Now, um, we do have the uh, remote devices there ready to go. All I need to do is switch those into the on position and uh, then I can launch them remotely from the controller up there. So we are ready to go. If you want to spin around, the camera is actually going to be up on the upper deck back over there. Um, where That's where we're going to be uh, doing the uh, rest of the show from this evening. And that's where the fireworks will be viewed from in our 360 show here. I hope you're enjoying it, you guys. Remember, pants, scroll around, check it out. We'll see you um, as soon as it gets dark out. All right, you guys, so it's gotten dark outside. We're getting ready to launch the fireworks off. We're gonna use our control center to do so. Remember, this is a 360 video, so you can pan and move around to see the video and everything. Special thanks to Phantom Fireworks for a little bit of a discount on today's fireworks, which is great. Thank you very much, Phantom Fireworks. Um, and then uh, if you guys wouldn't mind, hit that subscribe button for to help me, bell button to help you, and like button if you enjoyed today's content. Thank you very much, and uh, again, we'll uh, see you guys in the next episode. We got lots of special stuff coming this week, especially uh, meeting up with my good buddy, JJ Deer. All right, here we go. Let's turn this guy on. Um, I'm going to start the fireworks, and we're going to turn off the lights so you guys can enjoy the show. All right, have a great day. Thanks for tuning in. And remember, the better you take care of your house, the better it's going to take care of you.